Let's activate Pay with Amazon using the WooCommerce plugin in WordPress. To begin, let's get the plugin from WooThemes main website. In your browser, navigate to woothemes.com forward slash products forward slash Amazon dash payments dash advanced. The Pay with Amazon plugin for WooCommerce is completely free to download, so click the Add to Cart button to continue. This cart page confirms that your order of the plugin is indeed free. Click the Check Out Now button to continue. If you are a returning customer, log in here at the top of the page. Otherwise, fill out the form on the left side of the page to register a new account. When you are finished, click Place Order. Now we have reached the order confirmation page. Here in the order details, you will find a link to download the plugin. Click on it. Depending on your browser settings, this should save the zipped file in your local downloads folder. When you completed your order, WooThemes sent you an email that looks like this. The license key here is needed to complete the installation. For now, keep this email handy. Now let's log into your site's WordPress dashboard. This is typically at your site's domain, followed by a forward slash and wp-admin. To get started, let's click on Plugins in the sidebar menu. Here, you can see all the plugins you have installed on your WordPress instance. In order to use Amazon Payments, you must have the standard WooCommerce plugin installed. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will assume you have already done this. Click Add New at the top of the screen. Since you already have the plugin folder on your computer, click the Upload link at the top of the screen. Click Browse to locate the file on your computer. By default, it should be in your Downloads folder. Select the zipped folder that contains the Pay with Amazon plugin and click Open. Click the Install Now link to install the plugin. This should only take a second. Once the plugin has finished downloading, click on the Activate Plugin link. WordPress will take you back to the main plugins page, and you should see a message at the top of the screen asking you to download another plugin called WooThemes Updater. This plugin is necessary to properly activate the Pay with Amazon plugin, so click the link to start the download. Once installed, click the Activate Plugin link. Back at the plugins page, you should find another message at the top of the screen asking you to activate your product license. Click on the link. This page requests the license key for the Pay with Amazon plugin that we downloaded earlier. Grab the key from the email WooThemes theme sent and paste it here. Next, click the Activate Products button at the bottom of the page. You should now see a message here that says, Products activated successfully. Now let's head back to the plugins page. Here you should see the three required plugins, WooCommerce, WooCommerce Amazon Payments Advanced Gateway, and the WooThemes Helper. To configure Amazon Payments, hover on WooCommerce in the sidebar menu and click Settings from the drop-down menu. Here's the general settings for your store. To configure Amazon Payments, click the Checkout tab. Next, click the Amazon Payments Advanced link here. Here's the configuration screen for the Pay with Amazon plugin. First, click the Checkout box here to enable the plugin. Next, you will need your Seller ID, MWS Access Key, and Secret Key. These three values are found in your Amazon Seller Central account. To find those numbers, I'm going to open a new tab in my browser and navigate to Amazon Seller Central at sellercentral.amazon.com. Next, log in with your email address and password that you used when you registered for Seller Central. This is the Amazon Seller Central dashboard. From the drop-down menu at the top of the screen, select Amazon Payments Advanced Production View. If you do not see this option available, it's possible that you have logged in using a different account. 
To find your merchant ID, hover over Settings in the upper right-hand corner and click Integration Settings from the drop-down menu. Now you should see your merchant ID here at the top of the screen. Double-click to highlight the number and press Ctrl-C to copy the number to your clipboard. Navigate back to the WooCommerce Payment Settings in WordPress by clicking on the appropriate tab and paste your merchant ID here by pressing Ctrl-V. Back in Seller Central, you can find the remaining numbers needed for the Pay with Amazon configuration. Hover over Integration in the top menu and select MWS Access Key from the drop-down menu. Your access key is in red right in the middle of the screen. If you do not see your MWS access keys, follow the prompts to create them. The secret key is right beneath the access key, but you will need to click the Show link in order to see it. Like before, copy and paste each of these numbers into the appropriate spots on the WooCommerce Payment Settings page. Finally, click the checkbox here to enable Sandbox Mode. Sandbox Mode allows you to test the plugin before it goes live on your site. No orders will be processed while Sandbox Mode is enabled. Those are the only settings we need to configure at this moment, so click the Save Changes button here. And when you see the confirmation message at the top of the screen, the Pay with Amazon configuration is complete. Now that we've configured the plugin, we're going to need to test it. To start, let's go back to Seller Central one more time to create a test account. From the drop down menu here at the top of the screen, select Amazon Payments Advanced Sandbox View. Next, hover over Integration in the top menu and select Test Accounts from the drop down menu. Finally, to create your test account, Click this yellow button here and simply fill out the form. Note that it includes fake credit cards and shipping addresses, so you don't need to add any. Click Create Account when you are done. We now have a test account, so let's see what that plugin looks like on a website. This shop page was created with the standard WooCommerce plugin, and I've populated the page with two sample products. I will now add both to the cart and click on the View Cart link that popped up. Here on the cart page, I see the products I've added and a variety of buttons. The Pay with Amazon button only appears if we've installed the plugin correctly. Let's click on it to see what it does. A pop up appears asking me to sign in with my Amazon account. Since the plugin is in sandbox mode, I can log in using the test account we created earlier. After signing in, I am taken to the checkout page. Here, we can see the two widgets that will complete the process with the Pay with Amazon plugin. On the left is the address book widget that displays addresses saved in my Amazon account. If I wanted to ship to a different address, I could do so by selecting the Add Shipping Address option. On the right is the Payment Method widget. This widget displays the various payment methods saved in my Amazon account. Once I've selected my shipping and payment options, I can complete my order like normal by clicking the Place Order button here. Now, orders made with Pay with Amazon will appear in your WooCommerce dashboard like any other order. Here on the order screen, you can see the order I just placed. Beneath the total is via Amazon, indicating that the order was placed using the Pay with Amazon plugin. Looks like everything is working like it should with our sandbox orders. To switch from sandbox to production, let's navigate back to the WooCommerce settings screen. Next, click the checkout tab, then the Amazon Payments Advanced link here. And to switch from Sandbox to Production, simply uncheck this box and click the Save Changes button. Your site should now be ready to process live payments with the Pay with Amazon plugin for WooCommerce.